Hey, do you want a cool video pop-up like this on your website? Well, this one is FacePop. It's very similar to Video Ask, but way more affordable. In this video, I'll be doing a full demo and review just for you. So, let's get started. Okay, so this is FacePop. You can create vertical video pop-ups on your website like these. And what's cool is that you can add forms and also call-to-action buttons as well, including a link to your calendar. So let me show you how it works. Let me log into my FacePop account. And this is the back end. This is a FacePop that I recently created right here. Now to create a brand new FacePop, you can click on Create New. And you can also create unlimited FacePops if you want. Now the first thing you need to do when you create a FacePop is to add your video. So you can upload either a vertical or a horizontal video. Now keep in mind, if you upload a horizontal video, FacePop will only show you the middle of that video. So make sure your face is square in the middle of your horizontal video, or you can upload a vertical video like I did like this. You can add your video title and also a video description, and that is right here. You can edit the text. So right now it's bold for the video description, but I can click on that to unbold it and click on apply and where the power lies are in the call to actions. Right now I have two call to actions. I have a form and also a link to follow me on Twitter. And they have different CTAs. So when you click on CTA, you can connect to another FacePop video, redirect to a URL, or redirect to a URL within this FacePop window, which is pretty neat if you want people to stay on your website, but also briefly browse that other website you wanna share with them. And for conversions, you can add your calendar booking, collect emails, and text input. Now for this form in my face pop, I did select this one, which is collect emails. And then you also have the option to run a code or close the face pop altogether. So for this specific form, I added a text input first. You add your element ID for the email. These are your uh, settings right here. So your email is right there. You can change the style and also the colors. And then this collect email part is where you actually connect and integrate with your email autoresponder. And they have tons of native integrations. Right now I'm, I'm connected with MailerLite, but you can connect with Google Sheets, uh, Sendfox, MailChimp, Akumba Mail, and all of these email autoresponders. And you can also update the form fields and the button settings. And you can also choose when to show the CTAs. Right now, I add it as after the video begins. So I like it when it's after the video begins or before the video ends. That way people can watch your video before looking at your call to action buttons. And they also have an AI content writer. So all you do is describe what your goal is for the face pop and it'll write content for you. So just add your prompt and then click on write content. Okay, so here we go. It says download your free checklist. Download our free checklist and get organized. Get step-by-step -step instructions to help you maximize your time. And you can regenerate it if you wish. And these are your total number of tokens. You can also update the look and feel. So you can position your face pop either on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. You can select what type of shadow you want. I kind of like dim the horizontal margins. And for the toggle, which is here, you can update the size of the toggle and also the player after it's clicked on and expanded, you can update the size of the player. And also the minimize icon, you can also choose between uh, these five right here. Now, as of right now, the face pop is only available in this horizontal rectangular format. You can also change the colors of it as well. So they have different color ideas. So you could see this is kind of like a dark purplish bluish color a green, this color, and so on. You can also specifically decide what colors you want for each element in your face pop as well. And you can also change the fonts. And they have tons and tons of fonts you can choose from. I don't think you can upload your own custom fonts, but regardless, they have a lot that you can select to make sure you match your website branding. You can also customize the behavior. So when the video ends, you can decide whether or not you want to stop the video or play it again in a loop. And the default video sound can be muted or unmuted. And the player position can be at the toggle or at the center of the page, as you see right here, I kind of like at the toggle. You can also add an author at the top of the video. So you can add your profile picture. You can add your full name and your occupation. You can also format the text in your occupation. So maybe I want this to be italic size and maybe I want an emoji so just select that and click on apply and you can even share a direct link to your face pop so all you do is just share this link with anyone so if you click on it 
it'll go directly to your face pop and people can watch it and click on any of the CTA buttons. You can also get a QR code so they can scan this QR code to go directly to the face pop and embed it to your website. So right now I have, do have an instant embed. So this is my website and this is my face pop. So if you click on it, uh, you can see the face pop up right here. You can mute it, you can pause the video. So this is my form and then also a link to my Twitter profile. So if you click on that, this is my Twitter profile. Now, if you're interested in this tool uh, on their website, their pricing, it starts at free, so you can use this completely free. But if you want unlimited widgets and no branding and access to all features, you would need to get the pro plan and that's $19 per month. But you can actually get this for much, much cheaper on AppSumo. You can purchase FacePop for $49 one time. And the deal is pretty simple. So they only have one option here. Now with $49, you get unlimited FacePops, page views, widgets, and you have 10 seats and three workspaces. So if you work with different clients and different brands, you can create two additional workspaces for them and maybe one for you if you wish and share your account with your team. Now they also give you the option to add additional codes. So if you stack additional codes, you will get one additional terabyte per month of traffic. I personally think this is an excellent deal. So if you are interested, click the link below to claim it before the deal expires. And with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm always posting new software reviews and marketing tips. So if you want to be notified, definitely hit subscribe and feel free to check out any of my other videos that are showing right now on the screen. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.